Hi, in my previous video I was talking about HRT and heart methods and in today's video I want to talk about analysis of proteins by in vitro mutagenesis. Also, also HRT and heart can identify um, a product of the cloned gene expression. Uh, those methods doesn't tell us much about protein itself and um, some of the major questions that molecular biologists is asked today is relationship between uh, protein uh, three-dimensional structure and mode of it action in in the cell and the best way of tackling this problem is induce mutations in the um, uh, gene and such mutations would lead to the direct changes in the uh, sequence of uh, amino acid and inducing such uh, mutations um, biologists see what effect the change in amino acid sequence has on the properties of the translation product and let me show here a brief reminder of um, how um, expression of the gene works. Um, let's say that this is DNA strand and um, some place on it is a gene so um, first uh, RNA is made this is uh, message RNA that is going to be complementary to the DNA but instead of um, thymine this is going to be uracil and this is uh, transcription and then this is going to be a translation of the message RNA to um, um, sequence of the uh, protein uh, that consists of 20 uh, nucleotides and th this uh, sequence usually fold in three-dimensional structure so it can be look like this and uh, in this three-dimensional structure there is um, exist active sites uh, that can be uh, to which other proteins might bind or other RNA um, and this is the mode of it action inside the cell so um, this is um, of course oversimplified uh, representation and um, also when I am talking about um, um, mutations uh, I want to of course um, highlight that um, not all the changes in DNA lead to changes in um, uh, in protein sequence let's say for example um, take this uh, um, leucine can be coded uh, by four, four different um, uh, sequences like CTT, CTC, CTA and CTG we see that all these um, uh, first letters two letters um, here um, they are all uh, the same oh, let me change the color so it is CT here CT here here and here so this is four versions and what we see is that um, only last uh, 
lettuce is changing and um, this is called wobbling position so um, if we say uh, have C T and T and then we have C T C on our strand this boss would lead to the as you know uh, that um, DNA uh, transcript in triplets. So uh, each uh, amino acid is coded not by one uh, letter or one amino acid by by three amino acids. So um, this would lead uh, to two proteins. Those this is different sequence as you see CTT and CTC but still this is going to be uh, same um, uh, amino acid leucine and leucine so uh, this is called uh, sealant mutation so if we'll mutate uh, it any this four different uh, types we are not going to take to get uh, a mutation so um, the best way of tackling uh, this problem uh, is to induce um, a mutation at the certain position in the gene and um, as I said such mutations shouldn't be um, sealant mutations and when we change when we change uh, DNA sequence we change sequence of protein and this would lead to different uh, shape so if you'll insert a mutations here this can be uh, only one nucleotide or it's going to be a polynucleotide um, this may lead that this is going to be different uh, shapes, 3D shapes of the protein and also this might change uh, uh, active sites or totally uh, the protein might uh, be non-functional non um, under normal circumstances uh, mutations occur randomly and large number of uh, uh, mutants may be screened before uh, one that gives useful information is found. Um, a solution to this problem is um, uh, to use in vitro mutagenesis and um, there are a, lo a large number of different techniques but I will talk today only about uh, most popular one. Um, there is uh, three popular techniques and one is um, restriction enzyme uh, uh, fragment deletion. Uh, let me show it visually here. So this is DNA strand and um, this is say a gene so if you'll we'll use um, restriction enzyme and cut this um, DNA in two places maybe like this one 
and this is another uh, cut. So normally uh, if we'll take this gene product and this is going to be uh, normal product of its expression. Um, so if we'll delete um, this piece, this fragment, so we'll get a short version of the gene and uh, protein may be misshaped. So this could be something like this. So this is going to be a major deletion. And another method is um, when gene can gene can be opened with also restriction enzyme, but this time uh, only in one place. And then, so let's say we cut the gene um, in the middle or any anywhere, and then with the use of the um, endonuclease, uh, that is uh, double strand specific, and um, For example, such as BALS 31, and uh, this would nip on the both strands, and we'll get a small deletion. So this same gene would be just a um, few nucleotides uh, smaller. So um, this endonuclease would uh, need a small piece. So uh, we expect that the protein will get um, smaller damage and say uh, would be misshaped but less than in this case. Oh, let me change here. Probably it would be if this is four small structures on the left probably with uh, such a deletion it could be smaller. Maybe it would look like this. So um, and in this case, probably like this. And another mutations that we can insert, it could be, uh, it could be uh, insertion. Uh, so we still, uh, oh, excuse me, I have to change color. Uh, so we take the same uh, DNA and this is going to be a gene so um, we can open our gene with a restriction enzyme and instead of uh, cutting a fragment we inserting a small piece of uh, DNA it could be a few nucleotides uh, but we shouldn't forget that uh, 
in order not to disrupt the whole gene, uh, we have to insert our nucleotides in order of three. So three nucleotides um, is one threeplet, or uh, the whole uh, sequence would be um, damaged. So we shouldn't expect uh, any relation to our original gene uh, expression. Uh, so usually um, such uh, such uh, inclusions lead to uh, different protein structure. It might fall differently. So uh, scientists uh, studying such uh, mutations can tell how uh, each nucleotide affect um, uh, structure of the uh, protein and how it affect uh, its uh, uh, important uh, structures, active sites and shape and thus can be better understanding how proteins behave uh, inside the cell and we can find uh, a pathway for protein. So that's all about um, how mutations is induced and this is only brief uh, uh, description and as I said there is uh, many different uh, types of uh, uh, mutations that can can be inserted and I will talk uh, more about uh, different methods and that's all for today thank you for your attention goodbye